G'day guys, Mont Glenbourne Dam, it's November. Um, this is my favourite time of year to, to fish probably any of our dams for bass across Australia, but particularly the New South Wales dam. So instead of being down here throwing little two inch plastics and those sorts of things, this time of year, if you follow Bass Nation last year, you probably know I've been throwing a lot of this. So throwing chatterbaits, jackal charrow blade, um, I just love throwing these things this time of year. They, they eat them whole, they eat them shallow, eat them amongst the trees, the rocks, it doesn't matter. Just You can almost catch a fish and cast. If you find little sections that they're in, you just catch them one after the other and it's insane. So one of the main reasons I really like these things and what I like to do is, is, is chuck a trailer on the back. I'll always fish it with a trailer. Because if you notice, the, the tail hook on it is, is on a on a uh, split ring so it's free swinging and what happens if you run a trailer when you swim this along and pause the trailer is the last thing to fall down obviously because it's got resistance from the tail so for a fish following it probably looks like a, def a yabby being a bit defensive but I like it too because instead of having to pick up the whole weight of the lure they can just pick up the hook and you'll feel them you'll, your lure will actually stop vibrating as as you first pick it up and that's them they sort of suck that tail in you can just let it take it a bit and then hit them pretty hard and they'll come in with like the majority of the lure gone. So um, there you go, it doesn't really matter what trailer you throw, I chuck zooms, I use uh, yum, um, I'll even just throw Keytex swinging packs or um, probably one of my favourites really is, is the Crazy Flapper just because they're so soft and the, those little dancing tails are pretty hard to resist but so it's pretty simple the way we fish it there's no nothing really complicated I just like to maintain contact with the bottom so there's a few different ways there's 10 14 and 21 I pretty much just stick with the 10 and 14 so depending how shallow I'm fishing and where I'm fishing I'll change between those um, anywhere up to 12 feet I'll run the 10 if I'm on a steeper bank that's blowing out to sort of 25 or 30 I'll run that 14 but the main reason I just want to keep in touch with the bottom so the heavier it is, the, obviously the, the easier it is to fish and keep near the bottom. But it's pretty simple, just a slow roll. Um, I like to pause it a lot just to maintain contact with the bottom, as I said. And with the with the trailer on that pause, it's always swinging up, and the majority of the bites either come when you stop as the arms swing up, or when you first move it. It's like they follow it to the bottom; they're waiting for it to do something. So as soon as you move it, they're on. So, um, Definitely worth a try if you haven't been to Glenbourne or St. Clair in, in November. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> well, that's just a stubborn one. I still got the face. <laughs> that's good.